welcome to the Investors Trading Academy event of the week. Each week, our staff of educators tries to introduce you to a person of interest in the financial world. This could be a person in government or banking or an important investor or trader. In April 2013, Bank of Japan Governor Kuroda became a household name along with Ben Bernanke and Mario Draghi. After he took the reins of the bank and immediately instituted a large stimulus program aimed to reverse the years of deflation in Japan. Governor Kuroda with Prime Minister Abe have strived for the last year to help reverse Japan's economic woes. In October this year, Hirohiko Kuroda pushed the Bank of Japan to add additional stimulus which took global markets by surprise. The BOJ has already surprised the world with its launch of quantitative and qualitative easing on April 4, 2013. Today, it surprised the world once again. On October the 31st, the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Japan decided to increase its amount of monetary base increase from 60 to 70 trillion yen to 80 trillion yen. Hirohiko Kuroda is 31st and current governor of the Bank of Japan. He was formerly the president of the Asian Development Bank from 2005 to March 2013, when he stepped down to join the BOJ. Kuroda has been an advocate of loser monetary policy in Japan. His February 2013 nomination by the incoming government of Shinzo Abe had been expected. There's plenty of room for monetary easing in Japan, Kuroda said in an interview, adding that the BOJ could go beyond purchasing government bonds to include corporate bonds or even stocks. The yen, which has fallen 10% against the dollar since Abe began his campaign in November, also fell on the news of Kuroda's nomination. However, the new governor is expected to use his experience as Japan's top currency official until 2003 to rebut overseas criticism that Tokyo is using easy monetary policy to drive the yen lower, triggering a war of competitive currency devaluation.